Hello all, how are you? In today's video, we are gonna discuss like levels versus word partition. So this is the link uh, I suggest uh, you like reference for the word partition. This is for uh, Unreal Engine 5.1. As you can see, I link this link in the description. It will show you uh, and discuss how web partition works and how is it different from the previous system used in on the engine 4 which is kind of depreciated so this is the new way of doing uh, large open world projects uh, what I've noticed is you don't have to use it like for very large projects even if you're using it like for a small city like two kilometers by two or one kilometer by one kilometer you can still use it because it will save you a lot of headache uh, as opposed to levels because levels uh, you'll have to manually uh, in most cases uh, use like blueprints to showcase when each level is shown or hidden or unloaded uh, so let's take example again this game like has like a few bosses so each boss is a level or a platformer where you finish the first level and you move it up a level to another a more difficult level so those can be levels but levels at the same time can encompass not just the game logic it can encompass like assets and stuff uh, uh, and like animations and or everything so it's like a folder so to speak uh, like a container more precisely so uh, levels can be used in many ways depending on your vision but web partition can use one level or more sometimes you have like one level and it's the persistent one even if you want to use the uh, the level system without the web partition you have to have like one persistent i'll show you now soon uh, what i mean so the thing with web partition is that it will enhance performance you don't have to worry about uh, loading uh, scenes or levels uh, depending on the uh, direction and distance of the player from the assets and 3d objects uh, previously as, as i said you, you should do this in blueprints and there's like uh, volumes that you can place at certain places where once you cross these uh, boundaries the level gets loaded so it's still manual work the benefits of uh, word partition is quickly is like this one file per actor so uh, essentially each 3d model or asset has a file so this will make it easier to like load and unload them depending on uh, the range and distance of the player sometimes it's not just the player you can have more than one target uh, you can have layers layers is like more complicated we don't get, have to get into it from what i understand it's like you have this one map and you can have layers of that so you can change between layers so you have more content different variety i don't think i'm gonna use this in the game for now so how do you enable some you can start with a level system and just in, in, enable it and convert it if you have a from if you're coming from on the engine 4 you can convert it actually i'll show you in, in a bit and uh, not how to do it but where to access it so let me i'm just gonna go through this document then i'm gonna open on the engine so the thing is it comes with a map a mini map uh, so uh, m mostly now it's programming let us just open on the engine games let's open the f third person now once you choose most of those templates turns out that word partitions already enabled so if you go to tools uh window sorry then levels you're gonna see a notice that this feature is able when word partitions enabled so it's already like implemented automatically in most templates not in vr i'm gonna show you how it's in vr so if you're gonna go to word settings here you got uh, enable streaming is not enabled by default so you have to make sure of this you can change like a lot of things here like the grid you see grid size and stuff um, 
it's not enabled for this map petition streaming so yeah it's not enabled still so if you enable it so now you will see it all right so here's the map but it's not enabled and this is not the correct way to do it now the more automatic way is to like start start a new level and now you're gonna notice what's the difference between this this for the open world here is comes like pre-populated with the landscape sun and everything uh, and this will use a uh, web partition the empty open world is the same but without the uh, asset uh, uh, the landscape lightning and stuff. i think lightning is not uh, as well um you can use this if you're more advanced if you're gonna just starting i suggest this so you have everything set up already until you understand lightning and all this stuff this is basic this is not doesn't use the uh, world partition and th this is the same this is an empty version of this uh let's start with basic i'm gonna show you what, what i mean don't save you see you see the lightning and the floor you can delete the floor do whatever so now if you go tools to so, so to windows and layers you can see here in layers you see not like before that it's not disabled uh, and usually you're gonna see like one persistent level here and when you try and save it but you won't see the word settings here uh, most of them are deactivated so you have to activate it so this may be good for uh, uh, smaller games but uh, I think for my purpose I'm gonna go with what I don't wanna want the hassle of loading and unloading now let's go to new level and try the open world you see uh, this is a uh, large like uh, let's see the area here it's like two by two kilometers I think yeah, as you can see here so the good thing here is yeah, can, you have this map and you can press the uh, quad so this is not quad this is like a component uh, with, so it's easier to zoom into the place you want so you can go to the mountains above here but uh, there's an, another thing that we can do is like we can load selected cells unload this you see to save on resources and to make the game faster and stuff uh, move camera here so we have a lot of stuff to do uh, the other thing i've noticed is that with vr we just open uh, VR. All right. Again, because I use an ultra wide, I have to like reset it. If you go to levels. you're gonna notice there's one persistent level and if you add like a create new level empty level stuff like that and like save it to so this is it now there's always this persistent level that's the thing um in my case i'm going to use uh, word partition as i said it seems like the more logical it's new in unreal engine uh, 5 it's more optimized it takes a lot of uh, headache like loading and unloading uh, scenes or let's say more more precisely models and assets and objects and stuff depending on view distance you can change all that here uh, what's the few distance uh, the range that uh, certain uh, that the uh, third person or, or the first person or the actual character uh, is able to see uh, before it's it gets unloaded there's a lot of settings here 
but with VR if I want to migrate to VR I'm not gonna do the VR version now I'm just gonna develop the game in third person or vehicle based uh, level I'm gonna show you next video the alone is load the scene and try to use a car then next videos we're gonna also incorporate uh, uh, adding a third person then there's gonna be VR it's a big thing uh, such game will take a long time but we're taking it one step at a time it's a learning process for both of us so please uh, stay tuned for next videos and don't forget to like and subscribe this will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm I will show me do more content because, not because as you know this channel is not just for games it's like for DIY projects I can go for anything from 3D uh printing to like uh, flight simulation hardware and stuff so it's for the techie all right have a good day